I am going to talk about projectile motion. I am going to explain with an example. Okay, question. I hit a ball from the roof of a building with an initial velocity of 25 meter per second, 37 degree above the horizontal. The roof is 50 meter above the ground. Question. Determine the maximum height of the ball, time of flight, horizontal range, velocity at impact. Okay, projectile motion is two-dimensional with a constant horizontal velocity and constant vertical acceleration due to gravity. We should work on horizontal and vertical component. Okay. Horizontal component is net force, horizontal net force is zero. So after I kick the ball, there is only this net force, Fg, this is down. There is no another force. So horizontal component of net force is zero because of Newton's second law. Horizontal component of acceleration is also zero. Basically, velocity is constant. So we ignore the air friction to make the concept easy to understand. <coughs> Vertical component of the projectile motion, since net force is Fg, basically G, 9.8 newton per kilogram so acceleration will be 9.8 meter second square down so this acceleration does not change because net force vertical net force does not change so from this projectile motion is horizontal motion with constant velocity Vertically is uniform loop accelerated motion. Okay, let's calculate the uh, x and y component of initial velocity. Okay, so this is the initial velocity, basically. This is v1 equal 25 meter second so this is x component this is the y component so v 1 x will be okay so this is 37 degree okay 25 times cosine 37 so this will equal, equal around 20 meter per second. <coughs> Vertical component V1 Y will be okay. So 25 times sine 37. So V1 Y will be 15. 0.5 meter second. Okay. So normally in this problem, I this is if I say v1, this is vector quantity. So if I show this way, this is magnitude of velocity. This is velocity. This is magnitude of velocity. But I will write short form just like this. So this and this same. Okay. So when I kick the ball, when I kick the ball here, ball will follow a path like this. So this is basically parabola. Okay, if I have time, I will explain 
how to get how why it is parabola. <coughs> okay, so we should to, to find maximum height of the ball or all those questions to answer all those questions, we need to work on vertical component of the project their motion. Okay, so let's say there is another ball here. This is blue ball. So when I keep this ball at the same time, simultaneously, somebody throw up directly, vertically, up, upward, with a velocity, this one, 1505, basically, vertical component of this one. So, 1505 meter seconds. What happens in this case? So, in a given time, vertical component so this ball go like this. Okay. Go like this and hit the ground. Okay. Any given time, let's say here, so I go horizontally here. So I draw this. Maybe this is the vertical component because there is a negative acceleration down. So, velocity will be smaller here, less than 15.05. So, here also, exactly the same velocity, at the same level. So, when we come here, vertical velocity component zero, here also same level will be zero. Let's say, when I come here, when the ball comes here, blue balls come here, red ball will be somewhere here. So vertical component, because this is same level, 15.05 meter seconds down. Here also 15.05. Basically one, two, this, 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 this four points, magnitude 15.05 meter seconds. <coughs> Only this will go up, this will go down, this will go up, this will go down. Just before uh, hitting on the ground, vertical velocity of this equals vertical velocity of this. So from this idea, we can start our calculation. Okay, first question. What is the maximum height of the ball? Okay, in kinematics, basically, in uh, you, constant acceleration equation for free fall motion, there are five equations. So these two, we only use these two. So for maximum height of the ball, so if we just I rearrange this formula, so I write delta t here equal v. So this point, let's call this point two. This point is one. So this point two as well. So delta t one two. So it means between one and two, one and two same. So v two minus v1 over a a y a sub y basically this is g in this case so i just put this here put this here so i replace a sub y by g so when i substitute our value here one two v2 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 y okay v1 y v2 y will be zero here zero here also because when it comes to maximum height it stops and go down minus okay v1 y 
is 15.05 meter per second. Okay, for this problem, we need to decide which direction positive, which direction negative. Okay, let's say up is positive, up is positive, right is positive. So down will be negative, left will be negative. We can do the other way around. Okay, so in this case, V2, V1Y will be positive because up, G will be negative. So negative 9.8 meter per second square. From here, we can calculate 1.54 second. So it means blue ball from here to here or red ball from here to here takes 1.54 second. To find the height of the ball from the roof to the maximum point here, we use this second formula. Okay, so delta y, 1, 2, so from 1, point 1 to 2 equal will be V1 Y times delta T 1 2 between 1 and 2 plus 1 over 2 G delta T 1 2 square ok delta Y 1 2 means displacement from 1 to 2 so we don't know this delta y 1 2 we want to calculate v1 y will be 15.05 okay i don't show the units there is not much room so time is 1.5 4 second between here and here plus 1 over 2 so G will be negative negative 9.8 times 1.54 square ok then we do this calculation we will get 11.55 meter. Okay, this is the maximum height from the roof of the building, from here to here, or from here, vertical distance, to here.